Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I am doing a review for you of the latest colours from the Nail Stamping Queen. I've got 16 colours, I think. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Okay, so there's some here and I've got three off camera because I'm going to show you how they stamp. Uh, so what I've done is, what I normally do, I've done my colour pops with the colours. So I'm just going to pull out each colour and the corresponding colour pop to show you the uh, pigmentation of the stamping so let's get started oh I'm just apologizing weird setup I've got a new phone it's huge it's taking up um, half my desk so I've got to rearrange how I film things so just bear with me I did want to get this video up because I've only just got the tripod to fit the camera and I've had these for a while so I have been playing with them and I just wanted to get this video up so you can see the amazing colors okay doke so let's get started Okay guys, so in no particular order, I'm just grabbing the colour pops as they come. This is number 33, another red. That is what it looks like in the bottle, so it's really, really pretty. Uh, stamps amazingly over white, it stamps amazingly over black. So that is, yep, yeah, number 33, another red. Okay, so the next one I've grabbed is number 32, and it's called Vamp, which is this in the bottle. So it's a beautiful, beautiful metallic sort of cop deep, really deep coppery red. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you can see there, again, stamps amazingly over white and looks really good if you want sort of a really dark, well, vampy look over black. Okay, guys, so this next one is called Oink. It's number 34. Now, it is very, very neon. It is on the top one. It's not showing up as true uh, to the, what it actually is. And it's sort of more pink on the black, if that makes sense. Um, that's what it looks like in the bottle. It is coming out sort of more neon. It's just for some reason, because I've got my lighting set up weirdly, it doesn't look quite right, but that's gorgeous. One of my favorite colors and a really lovely one for the summer. So that one is Oink. Now I'm just gonna show you these two together to save a bit of time and they're fairly similar because I've stamped over black. So 41 and 40, so baby green is at the bottom, baby yellow is at the top. Now when you see them in the bottles there is a distinct difference because i've stamped them over black they do look fairly similar but if you do do the yellow well both of them over white they do come out their true colors so these two are just gorgeous if you want a really subtle sort of pastel-y stamp okay guys look i know i mentioned this one at the beginning another red which was the top one that i showed you but i've also just found i did do a swatch on black and look at that isn't that just absolutely amazing over black so that's what it looks like in the bottle that's what it looks like, looks like over black. So these are absolutely mind-blowing. The pigment on these is amazing. Um, I've loved every single colour. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you that because I found it in my stash. Okay, so the next two are Baby Pink, which is number 38. And that's at the top, obviously. And number 42, Baby Mauve. So left is pink, left is mauve, and they are very, very lovely, these two. Um, again, I've done them over black, so you can really see how well they stamp, but they, they do look very different over white. Again, really nice, subtle uh, pastels if you want to do them over white, or really lovely, strong colours if you want to do them over black. Um, absolutely love the mauve. Okay, so these two here are two different greens. Number 30, Jaded, which is this one here. And I have number... 35 which is moss which is this one here which does need a bit of a shake but again fabulous they both stamp brilliantly over white or black so if you want a really nice couple of greens these ones are brilliant okay so the another two here are 39 baby blue which is this one here which is really pretty and number 44 which is off white which is this one here so obviously I probably wouldn't go stamping that on white but really nice again. Um, I'm just sort of trying to get through these fairly quickly because I am going to stamp through, um, stamp, sorry, stamp three of these on the camera just to show you how well they stamp. So, yep, yeah, that's that one, baby blue and off-white. Okay, the final two I have to show you are this top one, which is number 31, which is Hot Lips, which is this lovely, lovely deep sort of, it reminds me of sort of red clay. Really, really pretty. I really like that one. And the bottom one is chrome. Sorry, I smudged it. Uh, and it, which is sort of a nice deep silver colour. And that looks brilliant over black or white. Okay, you know, so that's all the colours that I've already swatched. I've got three that I'm going to swatch on the camera for you. And I will get that started now. Okay, so I have already uh, done three colour pops. I've used just a black gel polish here and I've removed the inhibition layer 
for the three colour pops. So I'll just pop those there. Just don't mind my arm. Sorry, and I jogged the camera. I am using the same plate that I did for all of the other swatches so that they're all consistent. And this is a Fun 13. Uh, it's a Fabby Nails plate now. Uh, Marianne from Nail Stamp Queen does sell these, I believe. I think I got mine from her. Um, and I'm going to be using this image here, which sort of looks like splodgy starfish. So... That being said, I'm going to turn it around that way because it's easier. And I'm going to start off swatching this first colour from the Nail Stamping Queen's new polishes. And this is number 29, Ultra Marine Blue. And that's absolutely gorgeous. So let's have a go with that one. Okay, so I'm just giving this a good shake. So I want to make sure it's all evenly distributed. Now I'm going to... Sorry, there's my hand suddenly. I'm going to get some on the brush I'm only going to paint half the plate because you really don't need much polish I'm going to get my scraper and stamper ready scrape pop it on my stamper and then I have really nice coverage and I'm going to just pop it on my color pop so line it up and I'm going to just pop it down and as I bring that away look at the color that is absolutely and look at the color in the bottle so it's quite pale in the bottle but look what it comes out like so any of those little loose bits you can just very gently brush them away but look at that color that is absolutely stunning okie doke so let's have a go with the next one okay guys so the next one i'm using is this lovely mint color and it is actually called minty 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 number 36 so i am going to same stamper, half of the plate. I probably actually used a little bit too much there. Scrape, pop it onto your stamper, and I'm not putting much pressure on there at all. See, it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous coverage there, really strong. So I'm just going to pop it on my nail, press down, turn it over, and again, you have a very, very vibrant, very highly pigmented colour. That is just gorgeous. So over black or white, this will look absolutely amazing. So I'll just do the final one. I'll top coat these and then I'll show you what they're like at the end. Okay, guys. So the last one is this color here, which is, I believe, Dove Grey. Yes, it is. Number 43, Dove. Ooh. Dove Grey. There you go. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing as before. If I find my stamper. I like to have my stamper in my hand because you really do need to work quickly. You don't have much time before these actually do dry and you just have to clean it all and start again. So oop, again, just painting a little bit on my plate, scraping, popping it on my stamper. And again, I'm sure you can see that. There you go. Beautiful, clean, crisp image. Pop it on my stamp, on my, sorry, on my nail, press down pull away and perfect so that is a really really pretty very very pale sort of gray or an off sort of off white color which is stunning i'm so impressed with these colors they're just consistently good every time so i'm just going to top coat the three of these now the one thing i will say when you do top coat over and i think i have mentioned this before when you do cop i can't speak today when you do top coat over nail stamping polishes that can sometimes pull away from the polish so if that happens what I normally do is paint my top coat over as quickly as I can cure it and then if it needs to I do go over with a second top coat so I will do that now and I'll come back when I'm finished okay guys so these are being cured I've done a gel top coat over the top of these and as you can see it, they are stunning the top coat does not dissolve the stamping polish which is brilliant uh, so that's the minty, that one there on the left is number 36, the one in the middle is the blue which is ultramarine blue number 29 and the one on the right is dove grey number 43. So as you can see, stunning colours, stupidly easy to stamp with, they're really really great. You do have to work quickly though, as with most stamping polishes if you dither they will dry and it can be somewhat frustrating. Uh, so if you are new to stamping, just bear in mind, you're probably not doing anything wrong if you can't pick up the stamp, you're actually probably just a little bit slow. So I will pop this in with my stamping playlist, which covers um, how to prime your stamper, what stamping plates I use, what stamper I like, that sort of stuff. So I'll just pop all the colors out to give you a final look 
and then we'll end the video. Okay guys, I do have a photo that I will add at the end of these just so that you can see them all properly lined up. But that's the 16 newest colours from Nail Stamping Queen. Now, she is Australian based. She is in New South Wales, I believe. But I do believe Marianne has been working very, very hard to source um, international shipping details, prices. And I think she has had some success shipping overseas. I will pop all the links that you need to know for the Nail Stamping Queen below. I really, really highly recommend these above any other stamping polishes that I use. And I have used a lot, as most of you know, if you follow me with my nails, um, I have tried out quite a few stamping polishes and these are my preferred polishes. Uh, there's very little scent. They do just smell similar to nail polish. There's no overpowering odour. They stamp really well. The polishes are five mil bottles. You don't need a lot and the color range is amazing so i will as i said pop all the links in the description bar if you've got any questions pop them in the comments for me and i'll get back to you and if you haven't liked my videos or you haven't followed me before please subscribe if you like the video give me a thumbs up and please share this with your friends if any of your friends are interested in stamping okay guys thank you very much for watching bye